Today you are wondering finally how to overclock your CPU. Now I can show you. Okay. Inside your computer should look something like this. Now you'll want to make sure you have proper cooling. You'll want to make sure that the fans are not dusty and everything else. So let's see inside my computer. If you can take off the well, you know, take off the panel from the case and then reveal the rest. In front of your computer, like this, what you'll want to do, of course, is turn on like you usually do. You will get a uh, screen, something like this. And, uh, hold up, let me do that again. So what you want to do is you want to hit the Dell key. You will have a BIOS. It should look something like this, or it could be different if you look at my other videos. I want to go to Advanced. You're going to use these keys to navigate, this key to get here if you have an ASUS keyboard. Otherwise, you'll use keys like F1 and everything else. Now, you'll... If you have this kind of setup utility, you will go to Jumper Free. But otherwise, you just want to look around until you find any kind of CPU option for frequency or anything else. And for this, we would go to Jumper Free. And we would choose, so we go to Manual or whatever. And you change the CPU multiplier. Mine is normally at 200. So 250 would be a 25% increase which would go from 320 to four, uh, to 400, which would 4 gigahertz. But anyways, that's a bit too high with this new RAM I got, so let's say uh, 248. And you can see I've set that value. You don't want to touch the other stuff, since it's not that important. You would go out and you would save the changes. <clears throat> and as you see here, you have the tab key, and there we go. Overclocked. Now it'll boot Windows as usual. <clears throat> and there you go has now been overclocked. Everything should load and work normally unless it is unstable. In which case, you will want to uh, just pull back on the overclock a bit until you find something stable. Get a program like SpeedFan to monitor your CPU's temperature. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to overclock your CPU. As we see here, it is about stable. So I can move my mouse cursor around. There's aim and everything else. So that's some crap on my desktop. So, anyways, uh, yeah. There's that LimeWare window. Stable. Because